Hello, I'm Mahitab Abdel Wahab, Assistant Researcher at National Research Center, Cairo, Egypt. Our study compares the effect of topical 5 fluoro alone versus its combination with Erbium Yak laser in treatment of vitiligo. Vitiligo is considered the most common depigmentation disorder affecting approximately 0.5 to 2% of the population. Vitiligo continues to be a major dermatologic challenge in spite of availability of many therapeutic modalities. Among these, new promising treatment modalities is 5 fluororesi which can improve vitiligenous lesions and decrease treatment duration with better patient compliance. Erbium Yang is used as a method of delivery of 5 fluororesi and was reported to achieve 50 to 75 percent repigmentation in 33.3 percent of Egyptian vitiligo patients followed for 15 months. So, we compared the efficacy of topical 5 fluororesi as monotherapy and combined therapy of topical 5 fluororesi and Erbium Yang laser in treatment of non-segmented vitiligo in an Egyptian cohort of patients. Our study is prospective randomized comparative one. Patients were assessed initially and thereafter one and six months after the third treatment session using a digital Sony camera and image analysis system. Punch biopsies were taken from the legion sites at baseline and post -therapy. Lesions were divided into two groups according to treatment received as two comparative arms of the study. Erbium Yak and 5 fluoro received cream in group 1, while topical 5 fluoro received cream in group 2. Groups 1 and 2 were subdivided into group A and group B. Group A representing the flat areas while group B representing the non-flat ones. Three treatment sessions were repeated every four to six weeks and patients were followed up up to nine months. Degree of repigmentation was compared in both arms of the study as well as the different intelligence areas. Severity of repigmentation was graded according to Nuju et al. 2000. The pigmentation in group 1 ranged from 0 to 70%, mild in 73.3%, and moderate to severe form in 10%, as shown in figure B and C. While the pigmentation in group 2, who received 5 fluororesin cream only, ranged from 0 to 5%. When repigmentation in vitiligenous lesions were, was assessed according to site involved, group A of non-resistant areas showed higher percentage of repigmentation as compared to group B as shown in the figure. We conclude that combined ablative Erbium Yag laser and 5 lower received frame is a safe and effective in treatment and improving outcome of non-segmental vitiligo. The hairy, the hairy flat areas showed more repigmentation as compared to non-flat, non-hairy resistant areas. Computer-based image analysis is an easy, quick, and reliable method in assessing post-therapy response in pathologic lesions. Thank you.